Since I added all these uh, apple cider, I got so skinny, you can't even see me. No, I'm just kidding. You know, I, I read the comments from the last video and a lot of you really missed the point of the video. So I wanted to talk about the point of the last video if I'm in focus. I got a new lens, say hello to the new lens. The point of the video was that you can be any weight and still have an eating disorder. That was the point of the video. The point of the video was when you have an eating disorder, you most likely have mental health issues. That was the point of the video. The point of the video was not how lean somebody can get, not how heavy somebody can get. It had nothing really to do with weight other than I pointed out the fact that when people have an eating disorder, they either end up on this side of the spectrum where they're extremely skinny, almost anorexic, or they add up or they come on this side of the the spectrum, am I in focus? Probably not. When, you know, this side of the spectrum is severely overweight and still have an eating disorder. Now, this eating disorder can be multiple different th things, but the mental health aspect was the point of it. The fact that you can have an eating disorder at any, do I get somebody behind? At any, what am I seeing? At any point in the journey, right? So you might have be way over here, you might be way over here, or anywhere in between. And the eating disorder part was the point of the video. At one point, I only had two onions, two onions in my possession as far as any kind of food whatsoever. And that was just last weekend. So I wanted to point out the fact that through this whole thing, every time I get stressed out, my go-to, some people's go-to is to eat as much as they can. My go-to is to eat as little as I can. And I think a lot of people go through that and I wanted to make a video about it. So the point of the video was not how lean can you get and well, the lean people are the healthiest people. How many people know somebody that has uh, died because, but they were lean because they had heart issues or something like that? Or if you look at this carnivore lady that had a friend just have a heart attack, even though they lost a bunch of weight, I think, uh, you know, they had a heart attack on carnivore and now they're trying to defend carnivore. Carnivore is not a good thing. Neither is living on broccoli juice and carrot juice. You know, like it's, it's ridiculous. You can't, these extremes are ridiculous. Now I'm not saying to come off vegan or plant-based or whatever, but I am saying that when you have this, it's very alienating too, because if you're on this side, if you're really fat, you're told that you shouldn't eat. And then like you get that into your head, like, oh man, I really shouldn't be eating. Or if you're on this side of the spectrum, what in the world is that? If you're on this side of the spectrum, you're told that you should be eating 24 hours a day. So it, it's just, it's, it's an annoyance on both ends and I wanted to talk about it, so I did talk about it. And here we are, I'm talking about it again because yet again in the comments, I got the people telling me to eat Wagovi, Ozempic, whatever else. How do you think that's not gonna create an eating disorder? Look, I mean, and look who's pushing it. The biggest propagandist in the country is pushing it. Oprah, the reptilian Oprah. Why would you do anything that that woman told you to do? That woman is crazy. Look at what happened in Hawaii with her. All of a sudden, all this land acquisition and her house didn't get any flame on it whatsoever. It's like they knew. So people like this, don't follow them. If they're telling you to go on a Ozempic, there is a reason that that propagandist is pushing Ozempic. Now they're creating like this thing, well, you got this hormone that's missing or whatever they're trying to say. Okay, like there's a hormone missing. No, the issue is, is most of our food is crap and most people are told that sugar's bad, even though since sugar's been uh, going downhill since the 1980s, uh, obesity and mental health issues have been on the rise. Am I sweating? I'm sweating. It is so humid here that I actually had to wipe off my lens. My glasses were fogging up. It's insane. Um, it's, it's really bad. It's really bad. Like the people are missing the point of this. Now, yes, of course, at some point, calories in, calories out, I do actually believe matters. But it's when you get yourself to a homeostasis that actually matters. And if we look at back in the Minnesota starvation, uh, 3,540 calories was considered normal. And actually these men were losing weight on that and they were already skinny as it was. 
they were on average, I think, 150 pounds. And they were losing weight on 3,540 calories. Losing weight. And everybody's like, well, they did a lot more back then. No, they didn't. They didn't have people working two, three jobs just to afford, you know, a hole in the wall with one window like people are doing now, especially in America. No, they didn't have like four or 500% humi uh, uh, <laughs> humidity, uh, inflation on certain uh, aspects. And now we got possibly this uh, ship port closing down, which is going to cost us $5 billion a day. How much, what do you think that's going to do to the economy? So no, they were not working more than we are now. It's just not a thing. Like I know there's a lot of lazy people, but for the most part, a lot of people are working a lot of hours these days just to afford a fraction of what they could have afforded with that four years ago. So that's, I don't even want to hear that. And yes, of course, in other countries, they probably do walk more and that does have some kind of effect on it, but they still lived in this country at that point in time. Cars were still a thing back in that point in time. So no, that is not an argument. People were eating more back in the day. And as soon as they stopped eating a lot, when they went on that 1,500 and whatever calories as their starvation, they started having all kinds of mental disorders, even to the point of cannibalism. And the guy had to be kicked out. And as soon as he went back up to the almost 4,000 calories a day, if not over 4,000 calories a day, because they were on the refeed, he was normal. He was normal. If you look at all of the starvation studies that they did back in the day, as soon as they cut their calories, these people went crazy. They had all the diseases that we have nowadays that people are, tr are trying to medicate out of themselves, but you can't. It's, it's really simple. So anyways, the point of the video was if you have an eating disorder, there's a lot of us. And since I added in the, the apple cider and a couple of other things that I've added in, like I've noticed a lot more happiness. Now my sleep hasn't equaled out. I still have sleep issues. It could be just because it's so humid, it's ridiculous. And I don't like air conditioning. Or it could be a, any other set of factors. I have no idea uh, what that factor is. Yes, of course, everybody wants to be as lean as humanly possible. But you've got to get your mental health in order. I'm cutting my head off there. Maybe that's a good thing. Uh, you got to get your mental, mental health order or in order and as you're doing that, the weight should start coming off. We'll see what happens. Uh, I, I did finally come across that snake diet guy. I really like some of the stuff he's actually saying, kind of funny. Um, and I'm gonna probably make a video about that, but I do like adding in the salts that he adds in, the, the snake juice or whatever. And so I started doing that and I, I have noticed a difference. I've, I, I added that in like two or three days ago and I definitely notice a massive difference. So we'll see where this goes. This really is, and oh, and another thing that people were saying, well, don't force feed yourself. I never, I don't believe, maybe I did. I don't believe I said force feed myself, right? When you're not eating at all, you should be eating. Like, but I didn't say I was gonna force my, everybody, everybody watched that damn Durian Rider video. And everybody, because I had Durian Rider on my channel, it's like, oh, well, he's telling people to force feed themselves so they throw up and blah, blah, blah. I never said that. I never said that. I asked him about that. I didn't say it. He did. If you have an issue with this, <laughs> go ask him about it. Don't keep asking me. Don't tell me, don't tell me that I told you to say that. He said to do that. Talk to him about it. I know he doesn't respond, well, apply to anybody. And that's probably why they're all saying it on my comments. I did not say that. I like to eat till full, and that's it. That's the video. You know, like, it, this, you know, I, I don't know what else to say about it. Yes, of course, who doesn't want to be as lean as possible? But I, again, I don't want to be super lean. I don't like the way that looks. It looks ridiculous to me. It looks ridiculous to me. I don't want that at all. I, uh, just my size with a little less fat on it, and I'm good. And good, uh, you know. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not like too crazy, I don't think, but anyway, that's the video. I wanted to talk about eating disorders. I'm going to do it for this 30 days that I, maybe even more, that I'm, I'm doing this whole experiment. And that is the video. Any comments, questions down below? Let's talk about with Govi and Ozempic and all that kind of stuff yet again. 
I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm, I mean, it's not, I understand where everybody's coming from. I really do, because I've been there. But like, you really have to start looking at other aspects of life and are they all matching up? And if they're not, then not, you don't have full health. You might be skinny, but you don't have health. There's plenty of people who are skinny, but they're not healthy. So that's not the only barometer that you should go by. And maybe that's just me. Not, it's not just me because I've known so many people over the years since I've been born who were extremely skinny but died from like, like heart attacks and stuff like that. And some of them were in their 30s and 40s. So, you know, just because they were skinny doesn't mean they were healthy. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Can't take it anymore. Am I in focus? How do you like this new lens? Is it good? Anyway, talk to you in the next one.